Are we able to think clearly? Are we able to look at the world we're living in in a rational, intelligent manner? Are we able to look at our lives, face our lives, and try to make decisions in an intelligent, sensible, rational manner? That seems to really be the basic question. More now than ever. More now than ever. We live in a world where people aren't thinking clearly or intelligently, reasonably or rationally. Everyone's constantly getting more and more stressed out. Everyone's having to constantly work harder, push, 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 grab, grab. Everyone and everything getting more desperate. And why? That's the that's the point. Why is our world getting so much more desperate? The reason I think our world is getting constantly, increasingly more and more desperate day after day is precisely because we don't think intelligently. We don't look objectively, reasonably, rationally, clearly or intelligently at the world we're living in and how we're living in it, how we're living our lives. We don't want to face the problems that we have created. Isn't that what it comes down to? We have created practically all the problems that are stressing us out in this modern world. And we're being stressed out by them because we are unwilling to face them. Of course, the most core problem of the whole thing is the overpopulation situation. That's, that's, the, that's the kernel of the whole thing. overpopulation, straining the limits of how many human beings the Earth, this planet, of which we are a part, how many human beings can this planet reasonably support? Well, at seven billion human beings, I believe we've really surpassed the reasonable limit. I think we've greatly surpassed. Whoa, I have my eye focus. I don't know why. We've greatly surpassed the reasonable limit of maximum human population on this planet. And that's the problem. That's the one it's the one central problem that we need to really be addressing, and it's the one problem that we really are doing everything to avoid even facing. We don't want to have to face the key problem. That's the keystone, the cornerstone of all of our other problems is the overpopulation problem. But nobody, almost nobody, wants to even deal with that situation. Everyone wants to step around it and avoid it. Of course, the more that you do that, the more you step around and try to avoid facing your problems, the worse they get. And that's the situation we are in this world. 
and that is why the <laughs> that is why the grab for resources the grab for real estate is constantly getting more and more desperate as a result people are getting more and more desperate and stressed out because everything gets uh, prices of everything gets inflated real estate gets driven up and up the the more the you know the more the demand out strips the supply and so the situation we have in my world here in the state of Massachusetts is a situation where real estate prices in the Boston area particularly have become so obscenely and insanely inflated that to be able to not even to be able to but even to imagine that you're able to afford to live in the Boston area you have to be such a push push ambitious go getter that you're going to be so stressed out you have to be so push 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 and so ruthless such a grabber that that's what we have a society that's becoming a completely crazy neurotic society where everybody's grabbing and pushing and stressed out and on edge and what happens when you're stressed out and on edge the most immediate thing that happens when you're stressed out is that you stop thinking you, you lose your ability to think clearly and that's that's what I see happening in our, in our whole world at this point people are really losing the ability to think clearly largely because they're so stressed out I, I, mean, I guess most people seem not to even have the ability to think clearly to begin with but those that do even those that do are so stressed out that they're losing their ability to think clearly in any kind of broad general way they might think clearly in specific uh, transactions they they can add up a a sales slip they can calculate how far they have to travel from one place to another but when it comes to anything uh, larger on a larger scheme than that nobody's able to think clearly everyone's stressed out everybody's pushing and grabbing and trying to scramble for limited resources and limited space and what I and what what's happened in, in my in my home territory or what was you know what, what what was my home territory before it was all taken from me the place that I was born and raised in has become so obscenely insanely inflated and full of crazy push 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 ambitious grabbing people that no normal rational uh, but no person living what I would consider a more natural comfortable rational pace of a life is able to afford the obscenely inflated costs of living particularly costs of housing and uh, so that means that to find such a place if you can you have to move away from the, met <laughs> the metropolis the city you have to move 50 to 60 miles away from the city before you can be hope to begin to find some foreclosed rundown place that's anywhere near affordable 
and people are just getting crazy and they're not able to think clearly and I think that in order to be able to start thinking clearly we need to be able to relax we need to be able to stop running on the treadmill and stressing ourselves out that's the only way we can even begin to think rationally and intelligently and thinking rationally and intelligently is precisely what we need to get ourselves off of this treadmill and out of this rat race and that's the situation we're in